Good luck, Brooke. Thanks, Matt. Today, I'm doing a story time video, which I haven't done before, but the reason I am doing this video is because I actually have a really exciting story to tell. So basically, I just came back from like a few weeks in England on holiday. I made some videos about my time there and it was really great, but like by the end of it, I was really ready to get home. So I leave for the airport like nice and early, you know, I'm trying to get there two and a half hours before my flight or whatever. So I left London at about half past three on Thursday afternoon. I got to the airport on time, early, ready for my flight, get to the check-in counter and the lady says, are you traveling with anyone today? So I said, no. And she says, well, the computer says you are traveling with someone today. And I was like, no, I'm really not. Like I came up with my family, but I'm flying back by myself. She was like, okay, because it says you're traveling with this person. I was like, who? And she was like, yeah, this person. I don't know who that is. And she was like, well, you're linked on the system. You guys are traveling together. Like, I don't know who that is. I am not traveling with anybody today. Anyway, so then she had to call the manager and then the manager came over and then the manager was like, I don't know, maybe the travel agent put you guys together. And I was like, I didn't book with the travel agent. So that was weird. Then I put my bag on the, the conveyor belt. There you go, I put my bag on the conveyor belt and she prints my boarding passes. And then she's just like, Hold on a second, there's a little 10 next to your flight. Let me just check what that means. Let me just check with the manager again. So then I have to wait for the manager again. Then the manager comes back and she's like, oh yes, your flight's been delayed till 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, okay. Then they were like, okay, well, if you quickly, quickly run, go to the reticketing office. Maybe they'll get you on another flight to Joburg tonight. So I go to the reticketing place and then I get there and the lady's like, what do you want? And I was like, I want to get another ticket to Joburg. And she was like, no, 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 we're not reticketing that flight. So I go to this other queue, which is now like this massive queue just for the people on my flight. Now my flight was going to be one of those giant double decker planes that can seat almost 600 people. So almost 600 people are in a queue to now find out what's going to happen to us until our new flight. They get to the front and then they give me a bus voucher, a meal voucher, a hotel voucher, then a breakfast voucher, then a bus voucher back from the hotel. And they were like, go over there to where the buses are. Can't even get near any of the signs that say where the buses are going. And then we found out that we were getting the number 51 bus, which comes once an hour and can only seat 20 people at a time. Now, let me tell you a thing, quite a lot of people had been redirected to go stay at the Crown Plaza, including several school tours, and the school tours were given priority to get on these little buses, so we were like, waiting there, and we were waiting there, and we were waiting there, and eventually it's like almost two hours later, so this lady and I decided to split a taxi and go to the hotel together. And I go to the hotel, put my bags down, and by this point, it's quite late and I'm ready for dinner. So I go down and I get my little dinner voucher. They were like, oh, we're doing a buffet for dinner tonight. So I was like, okay, well, I'm vegan. I need to know if there's vegan options. And they were like, no, no, we don't do vegan food. We need 48 hours notice before we can do vegan food. I didn't know I was gonna be staying here. I will eat anything that is a vegetable. So the chef comes out and he's like, I can do a salad for you if you like, or maybe some rice. And I was like, rice and salad sounds great. When my salad arrived, minus the rice, it was literally lettuce tomato and cucumber on a plate with a wedge of lemon which are all things I like but are not things which are particularly filling but anyway yo and then I went to bed and then I had to get up the next morning and then I had to get a bus to the airport but the bus ride was quite nice actually because I sat next to this guy named Kat hi Kat we had a little chat on the bus and then we got to the airport and then there was a massive queue for people just getting on our flight and I had to stand there but there was a very lovely lady who was working for uh, the World Health Organization and was on her way along with 100 other people to a conference, or like a World AIDS conference that was taking place in Durban the next day and all of them were gonna be super late for it, but like, you know. And um, she was like, oh my gosh, this queue is so long. Would you mind holding my bags while I go get some coffee and like I'll also buy your coffee? So it's like, boy milk, thank you. And I looked after her bag, but then it turned out it's really awkward to try and carry four bags. Like, I was like, Pull, grab two and then I pull them along and then I go back for the other two and then I pull them along but I got a free coffee out of it and eventually got on the flight and sat next to this really lovely couple and like everybody on the plane was just like chatting to each other and I've never been on a daytime flight that's 12 hours long before because like they don't do that to people but I watched Finding Nemo and I chatted to the people next to me and I also actually did a lot of studying which was really cool and then we landed in Joburg and the pilot's like guys 
sorry to break this to you, but uh, the, there's a plane parked in the parking spot that was meant for our plane. And then the pilot's like, as you may have noticed, this is a very big jumbo jet. And we are now stuck. We cannot maneuver in this space. We need to wait for a tow team to come and tow us out of the stuckness. Ah, uh, so fun. Yay, now the problem. So eventually we got towed and put in our right parking spot. Then I get off and then I eventually get to my hotel. Well, my hotel in Joburg luckily was like five minutes away so I could just walk to it. I had to wake up at six the next morning to get on my flight to Joburg, which was delayed by half an hour only. But still at this point, I'm like, and then I landed in Cape Town and then it, we landed like the same time we were supposed to arrive anyway and I messaged Matt and I was like, I've landed and he was like, oh, you're on the internet, it says you're only going to land at 12 so I'm still at the flat but I'll come now and fetch you and then he came and fetched me and he gave me peanut butter and cookies and stuff oh, and bananas all in all, it was kind of fun and I got a cool story to tell for you guys Bye! Thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe.